Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time from Through Night. Now this here is their Catapult Mini. Now this was sent to me directly from them. Now this here is Cool White. They wanted me to test and review this all new, brand new little pocket rocket thrower. So let's wait no further. Let's open this up, see what's in. Now this is a reminder and a warning letting you know that the barrel is partially unscrewed. Take the light out first. We do have a user manual. Multi languages, as you can see here. So now we're going to go ahead and hold this to the English here. We're going to go over these specs here. So I'll try to get this close as I can. But as you can see, 680 lumens is the highest output. Now remember, this is a dedicated thrower so you don't need a huge amount of lumens and once you see the size of it of course you'll see why now if you need more time to read those go ahead and pause the screen otherwise we're going to move on one landed two o-rings one USB Type-C charging cable. That's everything out of there. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the light. There it is. Look how small this is. Hide it in the palm of your hand. Now the one thing this is missing, which it kind of had, was a clip. It being so small, definitely want something that you could just put it in your pocket. Side switch there. Lanyard hole there. Here's the charging port. Now you can table stand that if you need. Everyday carry. Remember just go right in your pocket. Gonna have some extreme range, especially for this type of TIR optics. Does have a little bit of heat sinking here. Now, the style and design on this is very nice definitely does have a different look to it. Got some grooves here on the body and they do help with gripping the light so it doesn't slip feels solid feels rugged too a 
Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the special optics there. Now this is running the Osram O-Star LED. Now the additional information is on screen there of what model LED. Can't really see it here, but that's what that looks like. Alright, so now let's go ahead and uh, open this up, show you the insides. It's the head of the light. Now this is a proprietary battery. This is an 18350. 1100 milliamp. Now my understanding this is actually a 10 amp cell protected so it should provide you plenty of power for this light. Spring down inside is heavy duty. Alright, so now let's go ahead and uh, get it all put back together. Let's go through the UI. Now the UI is pretty straightforward with all through nights. So let's go ahead and get started. Press and hold from off will get you moonlight. Or they call it firefly as well. See that it does have a donut up close. The further out you get it disappears which is normal. Now from here you just press and hold to go through those light outputs. You can press down and hold. You can also double click to get the highest output. A lot of light actually for only 680 lumens. Quite a bit of light. See how the beam is? Almost like a laser beam. Now, from any light level, you can triple click to get strobe. One, two, three. And that is a constant rate on the flash. Now you can press down and hold to go to beacon now if you press down and hold again it will go to SOS now this SOS is pretty rapid so it is fast compared to some of the other ones I've done through the years now you can press and hold again to go back to strobe or simply click it one time to turn it off. This here is a battery level indicator that's on the power switch. When that turns red and starts to blink you need to recharge the battery and also you'll notice that only the lower light levels will work. Again from off you can double click to get quickly to the highest output. Now to lock out this light from off, one, two, three, four. Now the light is locked out. It will not come on. One, two, three, four. Turns the light back on. It's unlocked. Now you can go through those light outputs. And that's all there is to this light. Really simple and easy to operate. Easy to use. Really compact. Now this does have some pretty good range. I did test it out in my backyard. So it's definitely more powerful than my area in the backyard. So let's wait no further. Let's take this bad boy out see how it does 
in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the True Knight Catapult Mini. See how it does on the lowest setting here. Good battery power. And that's really faint. It's going to be pretty concentrated. And it is making that water spout there. Let's go to the next level, see how it does. Not a real powerful spill area, but the spot beam on this is impressive. More like a laser beam. 65 feet to this tree there. I list all my distances in my link below all my videos. The latest ones of this. So if you have any doubt, check it out. Now it is making 238 feet there. 138 feet here to the tree of life. Let's go to the next level here, see how it does. Nice little jump. Not huge. Nice spacing. And it is making the first palm tree at this light level. And the second one faintly. Not much of a spill area on this light. It is, but quickly tapered off, making those trees way out there. Easily making it to those playgrounds across the park. Let's go to the next level here, see how it does. A little bit improvement in the spill area. Now on the higher output it is usable. Looking around me here, hearing some noises. Easily making those trees way out there past the baseball field. A little pocket rocket. Crazy. Bright. First palm tree, second one. With these now. Alright, let's go to the highest output on this little light, see how it does. There's turbo. Had to make sure I cycle all the way through them after you've had it on that level for a while. That's normal. Trying to get my finger out of the beam here. Sorry about that. And it is intense. Sorry about the water. Kind of interferes a little bit, but it will wait. And it is faintly making that furthest palm tree. With my eyes, that is.
incredible little pocket rocket thrower, I tell you. Now it is getting warm. Now this being so small, the fingers were getting in the way of the beam. Fence line, tree line, to a beam profile here. Amazing. Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots from this little pocket rocket. Incredible range on this light. There's no doubting that at all. I'm not a huge fan on the way it is. Got the hot spot and then it quickly fades off on the spill area. There's no well-defined spill area. It is usable to a certain extent. So if you're shooting out about uh, maybe 50 to 100 feet in front of you, you can kind of see gradually out there, but it fades off so quickly beyond that. So the spill area is definitely not as usable as maybe one with the cutoff that has a little bit better light spread on the edges of that hot spot. But the range on this is amazing. Uh, I've never seen a light quite this size have that much range on it. Uh, this here is quite impressive. Type C charging. It's good to see through night is implementing that type of charging system in this. Now the proprietary battery may turn off some people into buying this light. Now through night assured me that all of their lights with the proprietary batteries will be backed for up to 10 years so they'll always have stock and sell them after the light has been discontinued so that's plus a plus. You can also buy extra batteries if you want to have on hand but in any case impressive performance now I want to thank through night for sending me this catapult mini to review. Now if this is something you are interested in getting, remember this complete kit comes with everything you need right in this box. I will leave a link down in the description. Plus I am working on a special discount code for this brand new all new flashlight from them. And that should help you save some money on this light just in case you're interested in getting it. Well that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share like and subscribe that way I can bring more of these little lights from through night to you in the future thanks for watching take care